All right, yo, what's going on, YouTube? We have a brand new video. Now, in this one, we're going to have no music, no anything. All right, straight to the point. Look, just because a bunch of financially incompetent fucktards make a project, make an exchange, get a bunch of marketing with a bunch of money that was from their own token, and then they end up having this house of cards built on nothing that then collapses, that doesn't mean Quant or HBAR now is affected, Okay. There is a blockchain consensus that is running on the planet right now, and people want crypto technology. All right, banks want it, institutions want it, regulators want it, but no regulator or institution or anything of what I just said is going to enter the market until shit like this gets wiped out. All right, now I blame this a lot on regulators because regulators are not regulating the market. We have shit like FTX. That just takes an Omega dump and fucks over the whole market. Because they're the number two crypto exchange in the world, guys. And everybody's holding their money on FTX, right? And if the number two crypto exchange in the world goes down, what do you think is going to happen to the whole market? All right? Because we're so new. HBAR, 4.3 cents. I've never seen HBAR below a billion market cap in my life, actually. So this is crazy. Quant, 109 bucks. Honestly, I thought we'd go lower. But again, guys, crazy, crazy stuff. But, but does it does this change anything? No, it really does not. Do I care? No, absolutely not. Literally have zero care. All right. Now, you guys don't know FTX. Um, they're, they're seeking emergency funding to meet withdrawal requests, saying um, they have a shortfall of $8 billion. All right. And then Binance walked away from the deal. So they were kind of playing a game of chess and all that. So if you guys are living under a rock, FTX was pretty much a Ponzi scheme scam. That's why you don't keep your money on exchanges, guys. It's pretty obvious. However, here's this clip kind of summarizing everything of what's happening. All right, which I want you to watch. This is so important. Typically, the history of any kind of market is that you have this enormous springing up of thousands and thousands of companies, and then you have a crash, and then you get down to three or four or whatever big companies that continue on. There, and that's the way every revolution tends to happen. I'm sure we'll see the same pattern here. So, typically, the history of any kind of... You know what, Lehman? I'm not a scientist, but I think we will see the same pattern. All right? It's pretty obvious we're going to see the same pattern, okay? He said there's going to be, you know, a couple thousand people... And like we're seeing now, right? A couple thousand projects, and there's only going to be like five competitors that come out of it alive, all right? It's like a fucking gladiator pit. And Quant right now and HBAR are my gladiators. Anyone who had FTX as their gladiator just lost everything. I don't even know why you would have that to begin with. Like, it was pretty obvious. Anybody who's doing extreme marketing and extreme overextensions with nothing to back it is obviously going to fail, aka the U.S. economy. But that's a different story. Um, so again, LCX, something that I would look at to personally pick up because LCX is not going to do this. Uh, quant again, we want to pick up quant at these prices, not financial advice, financial opinion. Uh, we want to pick up H bar at these prices guys. Um, you know what I'm doing right now? I'm personally not really buying anything because actually, you know, I, I, I actually might buy a little bit just because this is so low guys. This is a flash crash purely revolved around FTX, all right? Now, because of the FTX token taking a dump, this is what's happening. Again, with Solana, there was some also rumors about Solana and how within like 12 hours from now, there's going to be, I think, like 28 million tokens that are going to be dumped on the network. There's something crazy like that. So we could see Solana take a dump here. That might be something to short. But again, guys, there is so much crazy stuff happening in the market that it is very important not to let it control you, okay? Because it's not going to change the outlook of the market long term. It just shows you why banks and financial institutions have not entered yet. Because we're just this big uncertainty, all right? So who's going to enter this market in these conditions? No bank is going to risk all of their assets in a market like this. We need regulation, but no one's going to enter until the banks are set up for the new world order. All right, it's simple. So you guys are fine. Stay in the driver's seat. I'm honestly glad. Now I have a little more stress relieved off of me because now I have a whole other year to keep accumulating. Like guys, when Quan was at 200 bucks, I was like, oh, 
was like, I messed up. I I I should have bought more at like forty bucks once it was down there, you know. So now we're gonna get another chance for all my subscribers, all my viewers, who think that they missed the train. The train has not left the station, okay? Especially after an, an event like this. Uh-uh. All right? So, I'm going to leave you with all this information down below. I just wanted to give you kind of this opinion of what's going on in the market. You know, you could think of me as like a pillar for you to lean on. Like, ah, you know, yes, the market is absolutely fucked right now. But I, I'm, I'm giving you guys that like, that lighthouse vision, okay? Look at the lighthouse. We're in a storm right now. Have your eye on the lighthouse. That is the CBDC, all right? That is going to get you financial freedom once they implement that. Because Quant and HBAR are just going to run the world with the CBDC, all right? So that's all I got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.